During during a time when the buffaloes were important in that Livingston area, the town that was called the Bishilinusa, where the yellow blanket was giving out. And during that period, that's when my grandfather was around. And during during the buffalo time out there when they were doing their hunting, they call him they call him hangs around the neck. And as he was the last young man to achieve that name, that's how he earned his name during a time when the buffalo were very important to the people because hunting buffalo was a part about their food, clothing, and as the transition started coming in with the upcoming Europeans and the, and the people, the pioneers that were coming in, then they, are, the, they started making the railroad and they able to start moving, moving the herd of buffalo. And as he's, as my great grandfather, Apelka seen that. And after that experience, that experience they have, they, he earned it that name, Apelka. They call him Hanks around the neck. It's a lot of sacred areas still here for the Crow tribe. Uh, Cheyennes, we were more uh, down on the plains back in the days. Um, we were we were uh, following the buffalo a lot. Pardon me? Where are they from? Well, you know, it's uh, all over this area. I mean, Bozeman, Livingston, Yellowstone Park. They were in the park at one time. Um, they were actually moved out of the park when the park was started. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't, you know, we live, our reservation is actually right next door to the Crow tribe, the Northern Cheyenne Reservation. And so we've intermarried with the Crow. They, they were our traditional enemies in the old days. And so we we got together with the Oglalas, the Arapahos, and a couple other tribes, and we had a lot of battles with the Crow. And the Crows teamed up with Shoshones, and uh, he, some, some of the tribes up in North Dakota right now, Mandan and that stuff. Um, and so that was that was then and so one of the policies of the United States government because they couldn't do away with us they figured we'll put enemies next to enemies and maybe they'll do away with each other and so they did that with us they also did that with the, with almost all the other reservations in Montana are two tribes and they're usually traditional enemies so that was a pretty consistent um, policy you know and actually at one time, uh, I think it was Andrew Jackson did a study on uh, what, what would be more cost effective to ex exterminate native people or to place them on reservations and take care of them. And that, the, the reservation uh, uh, idea actually cost less. So that's part of why that approach was taken. Well, you're still surviving. Yeah, well, and plus our resilience, you know, we're pretty hardy, resilient people, so. And we do a lot with humor to help in our survival. The train is pulling into the Bozeman Depot now. At the depot, we projected video of two films. One was Lumiere Brothers' Arrival of the Train at Lyon from 1895. These were projected on a refrigerator truck there at the parking lot. 
The other film was Edwin Porter's The Great Train Robbery from 1903. These were seen also next to a tableau. Chief packs the hat with an Eastern tourist from 1920.